All right, I want to go over this uh, homework problem here. Um, we have acetic acid um, reacting with uh, sodium hydroxide to give us uh, sodium acetate, and there's the uh, chemical reaction there. Um, you can see how the concentration of acetic acid goes down and the concentration of uh, sodium acetate increases for each equivalent or molecule or you know, uh, molar equivalent of sodium hydroxide. And so we have uh, no sodium acetate to begin with. We have just this um, acetic acid, and we're going to dribble in sodium hydroxide to create the sodium acetate product. And then we want the ratio to be such and so on that if we use the henderson hasselbach equation, the pH is equal to um, 4.74. So um, we don't need to do we could do this in our head, but I'll, I'll write this out so that it's very clear um, how to do this sort of problem. Uh, first, we use the uh, henderson hasselbach equation. And um, remember that um, these amounts here could be uh, molar or moles, and uh, it's, in, it's in one liter, so the molarity is equal to the moles for this, so it doesn't really matter. Now we want the pH to be uh, 4.74, and if you look up the pKa of acetic acid, you see that its um, pKa is uh, 4.74, and I'll just call this um, R here for ratio. Um, so you know you subtract 4.74 from both sides. and you get zero is equal to uh, log of the ratio. And then when you do the anti-log, uh, 10 to the zero is equal to R, and that's equal to uh, one. The log of one is zero. So what that means is that um, the base to acid is gonna be equal to one, okay? And we know um, uh, so we're going to use this information in just a little bit. Now we want to look at uh, this chemical reaction and set this up in an ICF table. An ICF table is just like an ice, but there's no equilibrium. It's initial change and final. So we want to write this chemical reaction here up on the on the start. I'll leave off the AQs because I'm kind of at the end of the page here, and I don't think I'll be able to fit all of this in. Um, and we got sodium acetate and uh, water. I'll leave the water off. The water is in liquid state, so it doesn't matter for the equilibrium. Uh, I'm sorry, for the chemical reaction anyway, because water does not have a, you know, an acidic or a basic nature. Now we're starting with 0 0.35 moles of um, acetic acid and we have uh, none of this okay so this is the initial right initially we have um, we have an unknown amount I'm going to just write the X for uh, the sodium hydroxide so we have 0 0.35 moles of this acetic acid we have zero moles of sodium acetate and we're going to add some amount of sodium hydroxide okay now, we're going to have some kind of change. I'm not sure what that will be, right? But in the final amount, we want this amount right here to be equal to this amount right here. For every molecule of um, acetic acid that goes away, you're going to form one molecule of that. So it should make kind of in your head kind of sense that we need to decrease this by half. Okay. And if you take 0.35 and you divide that by 2 on your calculator, you get 0 0.175. So if x is equal to 0 0.175, let's see what happens. Uh, 0 0.175 is the limiting reagent, so that gives us no sodium hydroxide left over. This is going to decrease by 0 0.175, so half of that is going to go away, and you're going to have 0 0.175 left over, and over here you're going to form plus x. Obviously, we don't want to use x. We know what x is equal to, 
x is equal to um, this amount here, this is going to go up by 0 0.175. Okay, and so over here on the right hand side, we're going to have 0 0.175. So the ratio now is going to be, you know, zero point one seven five over zero point one seven five and um, this all is going to be equal to log of one which is zero and the ph is going to be four point seven four so let's go see what answer is possible oh well the answer is already selected here i'm looking at the key um yeah so the correct choice here is the uh choice a zero point one eight when you round it to two sig figs why two sig figs well there's two sig figs for the starting moles okay so um, i suggest again that you watch my youtube video the featured one that pops up when you go to the stoddard tutoring uh, channel view page um, i discuss there's different ways to make um, there's three different ways to make a buffer you could start with um, say for example equal amounts of your acetic acid and your conjugate base. The conjugate base is a weak base. It's not sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base and a buffer by definition is a weak acid and a weak base. So uh, these guys here, uh, the pH will be equal to 4.74, okay? Another way to um, make a buffer is to start with a, a weak base, a weak acid, acetic acid, and add half equivalent of sodium hydroxide. And these two here will react to form this mixture. Okay. Another way to make a buffer is to start with, I, 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 um, let me just do it like this. We can start with the conjugate base, sodium acetate, whoops. Okay, so this is the weak base and we could add half the amount, half an equivalent, half the number of moles of that of a hydrochloric acid. And this also will react to form an equal mixture of sodium acetate and acetic acid. Okay. And uh, we did both of these reactions in the lab. We, we actually did all three of these reactions in the lab. Okay, we took uh, test tubes that contained acetic acid and we dribbled in sodium hydroxide and we noticed that it was quite resistant to pH changes as it entered the buffer region. And we also took um, sodium acetate and dribbled in hydrochloric acid and when there was a one-to-one -one mixture of the weak acid and weak base in solution, it uh, created a buffer, right? So these mixtures here will create a buffer not because you have a strong base, but because it converts some of the weak acid to the weak base, and therefore you make a buffer, which is a mixture of a weak acid and a weak base. Well, anyways, I hope this video is not too confusing, and I'll post this um, onto YouTube as a scheduled release after Friday midnight, so sometimes Saturday morning. Alrighty, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.